How do we think about God in the midst of a pandemic? Maybe one of the first things that comes to your mind is something that comes to mine, and that is the question, why? Some don't particularly like that question. They think it's inappropriate or it's insulting or whatever they may attach to it. But actually, Scripture is filled with that question. The people of God ask God over and over again, why? For example, Psalm 10, verse 1, why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Or Psalm 44, verse 24, why do you forget our afflictions and oppressions? It's a good question. Some things just don't make sense. Elie Wiesel once said, God and the death camps, I'll never understand it. I think he's right. I agree. The history of theology and philosophy is filled with all kinds of attempts to answer that question. Some provide some healthy guidance, but ultimately, we don't know. And, that, and the question for the life of faith is, can we live with the ignorance? I think we have to. We have to live with the ignorance. But that doesn't mean we're without recourse. In fact, we are invited into a relationship with God that brings the questions, brings the doubts, brings the struggles into that relationship with God. Like Israel, we struggle with God. That's what the word Israel means, the one who struggles with God. Or like Jesus hanging on the cross who asked the why question himself, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Or like Job, Job protested. Or like the, the souls under the altar in Revelation chapter 6. How long, O Lord? So in our reflection on the word why, we enter into a relationship of struggle with God. And when we enter into that relationship of struggle, we are not alone. We are part of a whole story of faith a story of faith that struggled with God, lamented about what God was doing or not doing in the world, and protested what God was allowing in the world or the way God created the world. So we learn to struggle, and we learn to lament, and we learn to protest. We have great models for that in Scripture. We can follow their example. And when we do, we might very well find a place of spiritual therapy and healing.